Eric in Kansas City. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm calling to ask for a moratorium. Um, I know that you guys have a moratorium at Cal's wager. I'd also no, like, we don't. Uh, um, Sometimes we oh, you don't? hung up on it. Well, we so, we're, no. we're, we're, we're like less tolerant than we used to be of it, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, OK. Well, there's a phrase that we use as atheists that I, I kind of wish we would stop using. OK. Um, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. I don't necessarily think that that's true. I mean, we have some very good standards of what constitutes evidence. We use the federal rules of evidence to adjudicate civil claims and prosecute criminals every day. Well, um, be, be careful there because the evidence that's, you, that's admissible in court is not exactly the same standards as the evidence that's uh, used in scientific tests. Or that's used when Russell tells me he had eggs this morning and I don't even question it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, that it is different evidence, but we have many ways of, of dealing with evidence. If you're going to defend a uh, master's thesis in linguistics, there uh -huh. are certain set standards for evidence, and a PhD in physics, you know, dissertation that you're defending. But there, there's I mean, even if you want to talk about law, like, have you seen the movie My Cousin Vinny? Yes. One of my all-time favorite movies. I mean, these two guys are at the crime scene and the uh, you know I don't want to spoil it too much but it looks very much like there are multiple witnesses who saw them kill this guy and they say they didn't do it that's extraordinary they are making an unbelievable claim luckily but that, but by the, the end of the thing. movie extraordinary amounts of evidence have been presented which wind up clearing them spoiler but it's but, a great movie seriously everyone should see it uh, However, but I think that is a good example of that in, in action in a court of law. Yeah, well, you said extraordinary amounts of evidence, but the evidence well, in that movie was perfectly plain and it's ordinary. Extraordinary I mean, quality, it's, it's also. Hmm? And that is extraordinary quality of evidence, also. Yes, but uh, again, it's not like they had. Um, a gold-plated inscription appearing out of nowhere. It, they looked at no, well, but that's a not the. I mean, that's kind of a straw man. <laughs> wait, there. wait. I, I think we're getting lost here. Let me just ask if you could restate this this line that you dislike as something different. How would you prefer it be stated? Um, extraordinary claims still require the same perfectly ordinary evidence that we use for every other field of life. You don't and think yet it they don't because uh, wait a minute though now let me just put forward like what my initial reaction to that is and you tell me how you can clarify it for me so okay. for example Russell tells me he had eggs for breakfast that's a very ordinary claim and it doesn't require evidence and yet I believe it right I don't think he's lying I don't think I'm being deceived by him I just accept that okay you know Russell did probably that just gets filed as a reality and then later, Russell comes to me and says, holy cow, I was abducted by an alien spacecraft. Am I just going to believe it the same way I believed the claim about the eggs? And if not, why not? Um, well, you're classifying the claim. Right. One is ordinary, one's extraordinary. Yeah. Right. One requires a testimony, okay. and I accept it as evidence, as, as sufficient evidence to believe it. One, I do not accept the testimony as sufficient evidence to believe it, and yet they are both claims. Well, let me ask you about the evidence. Okay. If Russell had taken a picture of his breakfast and posted it on Facebook, would that be an ordinary event or an extraordinary event? That would be an ordinary event. Right. So if you take a picture of the action or event in progress and you post it to Facebook, um, that's ordinary, yes? Don't but people you think have posted photos picture? of UFOs, and and I, I tend to not believe those Don't photos. you think that a verified picture of a UFO would be pretty extraordinary? I mean, setting aside right, the, the, the that it's is, the same technique The point is that Russell picture. doesn't need to post the picture of the eggs. Right. The evidence that is convincing is simple testimony. But simple testimony would not be compelling in the case of a UFO ab abduction. Right. But what I'm saying is that testimony is ordinary evidence. It is. Mm -hmm. And photographs are also evidence that is ordinary. But it's of not required. Is, it's but, the, but the ordinary claim does not require the ordinary evidence. It, it, it just requires testimony. 
It doesn't require a photo. Would you accept testimony as evidence of a UFO abduction, and if not, then what we're saying is it re we, re we require more evidence for one claim than the other claim because one claim's ordinary, the other is extraordinary. Okay, then perhaps extraordinary evidence requires, uh, extraordinary claims require more evidence. Uh, and I think that's what people are saying, but I think you're just taking issue with maybe the word that you, when you think of extraordinary yeah, evidence. Extraordinary means beyond like, the ordinary. Well, Russell could be defining, for example, more than normal evidence that it could be the same as ex an extraordinary amount, for example, of right. evidence would still be extraordinary evidence. How, you, how about the, the, this phrasing? Would you feel happy with it if I said, uh, the quality and quantity of the evidence should be proportional to the extraordinariness of the claim. That's roughly better, yeah. Okay, I mean, I just think your complaint about the way it's worded is kind of splitting hairs. I, I mean, you know, I'm more concerned with the underlying concepts than whether the word actually applies well, perfectly I, I, or yeah, not. Yeah, and I think that demanding to see a photo of something before you'll believe it is actually an extraordinary request yeah, for evidence. Yeah, somewhat. I mean, because most claims I get every day, I don't require photos, photo evidence to convince me that people are telling me what's happened to them in their lives. I, I, I suppose that that, you know, that's fair. I'm just, my focus is more on um, a good, technique for judging whether or not you have a reasonable argument or reasonable evidence. Well, don't, be... don't get me wrong, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence is a platitude. And it's not right. like we're telling people that platitudes alone are enough to make you a critical thinker. Right. Yeah. And I, I sort of like the idea of, uh, of reevaluating arguments or evidence um, and a technique that I I use in debates with theists would be, it's sort of like the Chinese fortune cookie. You add the word in bed at the end to your fortune cookie. Um, to test to see if your argument is a reasonable argument, add the word your honor. So when someone says, oh, I, God exists and I know it because I know it because I know it, well, add your honor to that. You know, would that hold up as an Feels argument? Feels like an your argument honor, from I authority a little bit. Commit murder. Well, I think because what he's saying is, would, I know I, I know. would a court would it find be admissible it in court? Well, or yeah. would they find it compelling? Almost like the guy that we talked to earlier, the idea yeah. of if you got before a judge and you were claiming this as your evidence, would would, would it make sense impressed? in a court? And I think the answer to that would be no. You know that it wouldn't have. Sure. So I mean, right. th it might be useful. I can see how it could be useful in certain circumstances. Sure. Yeah. Um, if if you go to court and your evidence is a book that was written about a murder or a wrongful death. 10 to <laughs> 70 years after it happened by four anonymous authors named Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Right, yeah. without any evidence. Not going to be submitted as an exhibit. Yeah. Right, certainly. And uh, also there's that whole spectral evidence uh, oh, standard yeah. that, that we don't accept. Anymore. Anyway, uh, well, is that it? Thanks for having me on. All, All right. right, thank you. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye.